Here's the punter, Jake Camarda, set to do the honors, and off we go now from Tampa. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. Come on, come on. Hey, come on, you. Ready? Now Lance on the bootleg. His first pass is incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great Let's break go. on the ball and able to force that incompletion. carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmarks of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And Lance now to throw. And able to haul it in is Kittle. He's got the first down and more. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, 75 yards. And the 49ers are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned an ending in a house call, but he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Throwing is Brady on third down. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Brady going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for. It doesn't pan out, and it'll be a turnover on downs. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. 
I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they set the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And they faked the handoff. Now Lance. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the 49ers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 14-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. To throw is Brady. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with a pick six. And it's absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team, right? And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is they can add on a couple more scores. This one could legitimately be over in the second quarter. A short kick taken at the 18. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams... Looking for his tight end, Rudolph, and it's intercepted. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past to pay off early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. It's a loss of eight there on the first down play. The big loss on first down leads to a tricky second down. 18 yards to go. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll lead here to a third down. Our score after one. Here 
Here we go. Here well, a good go. field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Throwing now is Lance. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Working from the gun, Lance. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Trey Lance taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners are able to add on to their first half lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. Brady now on first down. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. 72. Throwing on second and long. Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Regular, regular. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Hey, ball 66. They'll go for it. It's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he is going to have a Buccaneers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Inside handoff now to Fournette. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. First down, Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And some space here. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Wait, set. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Kyle Rudolph from 10 yards out. And the Bucs are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one... That was huge for him. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. Oh, 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now a play fake. Lance. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. A big play there for the Niners. 79 yards. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. McCaffrey running up the middle. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And across the goal line into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Debo Samuel from three yards out. And the Niners will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold with the extra point, And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. This is caught by Evans. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. The slot man in motion right. First and ten, here's Brady. Flushed out right. And that's going to be incomplete. Twelve seconds left. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Up the gut, Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be from 49 yards out. Suckup's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Robbie Gore, to kick off for San Francisco. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? Fielded right around the eight. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line.
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. The CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. But partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Slot man moves right. Cover, cover! On third and long, it's Brady. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though, and they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. The slot man in motion right. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Goal 50. 72. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Airing this one out for Evans. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Rolling to his right. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk from 13 yards out. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Mike Evans, he's going to go. The 20. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 75 yards. And the Buccaneers are able to cut into that deficit. Todd Bowles leaving his offense on the field. They're going to go for two here. Hey, ball 66. Go Bandit. Brady will look to throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Fields it right around the goal line. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Antoine Winfield up from the secondary with the tackle. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. They'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now in Tampa. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Off of play action, here's Lance. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, 44 yards. And the 49ers start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Gold with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. The Bucks take over first down 10 at their own 28 yard line. Hey, set. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Now he'll throw with Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10, down at the 31. Meanwhile, Brady's throw on target to Godwin here. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Chris Godwin, 31 yards. And the Buccaneers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. They will run it. It's Fournette. And he will get in for the two points to get this back to a three-score game. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. And Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have 
farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Play action, now it's Lance. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting, and the Buccaneers are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. So after the INT, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwood. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Brady now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll drop to throw. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 42 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now Brady. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Cade Otten, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs get a bit closer. So what can Brady do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for two. They'll look to throw. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ready up. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. On play action, Lance. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And this is caught inside the five. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. A short kick taken at the 18. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. 
On second down, here's Fournette. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Brady now to throw. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Wait, set. Hold 50. 72. Now Brady got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. Connecting here with Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Lance going to try to throw for this. That's caught. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Hey, go 66. Now Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Throwing again on second down. Brady. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three to throw it's Brady open man is Godwin it's complete and he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45 a good pick up there of 20 yards well this game was decided a while ago and that completion there it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers so right now the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract Brady's throw there complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From midfield, here's Brady. Over the middle complete. It's Evans. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 32-yard line. Brady now on first down. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. 
Picked off by Fred Warner. There he goes, right side. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just got to be coming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18 and able to get this out to the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You'd have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time now? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Slot man moves right. Ozzie! Ozzie! One final try now for Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game. And as this defense walks off,